Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. Our guest on the program, Dr. Shakuntala Modi, is a board-certified psychiatrist practicing in Wheeling, West Virginia. She's published a number of books, Remarkable Healings, which describes a new theory for mental and physical illness, Memories of God and Creation, a compilation of people's memories of God and creation under hypnosis, Her third book we talked about on the program not that long ago, Prayers for Healing and Protection, a Gift from God, in which prayers and healing techniques were given by God and different heavenly beings through her hypnotized patients for over 27 years. And the new book we're talking about on the program today is An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind, Volume 1. Dr. Modi, welcome back to the program. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. It's great to be here. It is always fascinating reading your books and having a chance to talk with you. And I mentioned the fact that uh, a practicing uh, psychiatrist in Wheeling, West Virginia, you've been using hypnotherapy in the practice for like over 35 years. And it's the case with the new book as it was in, in the other books, in particular Prayers for Healing and Protection that we talked about. The role of the patient is very instrumental in, in what you're doing, what you're writing about. Talk a little bit about that. This book is a remarkable work about the astounding past and future of mankind. Let's talk about the role of patients and what they had in you writing this book, An Amazing Journey. Yeah, as I work with my patients, psychiatric patients, um, I sometimes use, or now oftentimes, use hypnotherapy. And under hypnosis, I take them back to the source of the problem, ask them to go wherever it comes from. And people go back to the time sometimes in their past lives where some kind of trauma happened, and as a result, they had the symptoms. Uh, And just by recalling, reliving, releasing the symptoms, their symptoms are improved, the memories, releasing the memories and the trauma. Uh, other times, people recall having spirits in them, and by releasing the spirits, their symptoms are gone. Uh, other times, the uh, fragmented soul parts which are lost, and we bring them back, and healing happens. So this was like totally new understanding about how the symptoms are caused and how healing can happen. The last show that we did with Dr. Modi, by the way, is available on our website, uh, the YouTube version of it. You can just go to thisweekinamerica.us, go to the icon for YouTube, and look up Dr. Modi, which is spelled M-O-D-I, and you'll see that past interview because it's fascinating. The book we talked about was Prayers for Healing and Protection. The new book is really a remarkable book. It's called An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind, Volume 1. And this really gives you great insight into the, the, the particular problem the patient is having, doesn't it? It gives you some, some keys in, in, into resolving these issues. Yes. Um, over uh, almost now 29 years since I have been using this kind of work, uh, uh, hypnotherapy, my patients started recalling some of the patients as life as a first human being on the planet. And there were more than just one or two or three, quite a few of them. At one time, I thought I may write a book about so-called Adams and Eves, you know. Yes. Uh, But then it's boring. It's the same story for almost everybody. Uh, Then um, some people recall having the life as the ape humans, where their souls were infused into the apes, you know. Then other people rec- uh, recalled having aliens doing the genetic modifications on, on the AP humans. Some people recalled past lives or life in Lemuria or Atlantis. And uh, by recalling, reliving, releasing their sim- uh, uh, traumas, their symptoms healed without much medication or any medication and without much long-term therapy. And as a result, the information was so amazing that I was almost compelled to write this book. It's all about amazing human journey, what, who we are, where we come from, and what people recall, the first, very first human couples. There were not just one couple who was uh, on the planet in, at the beginning. There were about 20 to 25 couples who were, uh, the body was prepared beforehand, and then the soul was infused into their bodies. And the bodies were about 15, 16 years old, each body. 
and one male, one female in one part of the world, another male, another female in another part of the world, like that. And the idea was that they will grow up, and as they grow up, then when they learn and accumulate some knowledge, they will come out of their body, like out-of-body experience, and they will merge with each other, and whatever they have learned, they will pass it on to the incoming soul who will be their babies or children in future. And But um, Satan influenced them according to their understanding, and as a result, they could not follow up their plan about soul merging and passing on the knowledge to the incoming soul who will be their child. And as if that, that succeeded at that time, then we, we didn't have to learn again and again. We will build up on the knowledge which our parents had and then continue to build up and not forget that knowledge, you know. That will be our knowledge for future. And now what we have, what happens is as we are born, we have to learn everything again. Only thing we have here is the culture, which is a little bit uh, understanding about what has happened. Right. Now. But otherwise, it's the same thing. So that plan was failed. Also, what people describe, because of the weather condition on the planet Earth at that time, the many of those couples were wiped out, most of the couples. And it happened about uh, probably 10 times. So they were infused. The soul was infused in the body. They grew up, but then they didn't make it. All of them were wiped out because of the bad weather condition. Then, as a result, heaven again decided to do it differently. This time, they infused the human soul into the ape bodies, which were about 15, 16 years old. And then they reproduced and uh, ape, ape humans were created, you know. So that way, these ape humans um, were on the planet. That's what we wonder, you know, where did they come from, you know. Um, these ape humans were not very bright, and as a result, their evolution was very, very, very slow over millions of years. And then God inspired few alien races to do the genetic modification on humans, so, uh, these ape humans to uh, s speed up their evolution. All right. And as a result, what patients describe, eight alien races, they were good races, uh, who, were, who came on the planet Earth at different times. One didn't know that the other one was here. And they did different types of genetic modifications on the ape humans. And these ape humans, these alien beings, first thing they did is there were two groups of alien beings, three alien beings in one group and the five in another group, which was there was a big time gap between the two groups. The first group of the alien beings worked on the temporal lobe of the hum ape humans to improve their uh, spirituality. And, uh, but the one alien race didn't know others, so other one did the same thing, and the third one did the same thing. So as a result, uh, the temporal lobe where they did the mo genetic modification, it became big fairly big. It was just a streak before, and then it became big, and as a result, we became a little bit more spiritual. Although ape humans had already their own spirituality because they had the human soul. Right. And then um, the second race, other race who came, they worked on the concentration center. And another race, they worked on the conscience center. So this way, this modification, they kept on doing again and again. They observed, came back, did the, another modification again. And as a result, we became more evolved spiritually. We became faster. We changed physically. The face structure changed. The jaw was pushed out. The uh, forehead was pushed out. The whole face structure was kind of pushed out. Then gradually they had less hair, and the smaller body 
not as strong as the ape humans, you know. So these changes kept on happening. Then around uh, 200,000 years before Christ, one alien race came uh, of the second group who worked on a group of humans in the, from the area where, what, where the Iraq is right now. And they took that, their whole tribe, they did the genetic modification on them, and they worked on the, again, temporal lobe there, or just that group. And this group had people from every, of every age. So they were a cohesive group. They worked together. And what these aliens did is they transported the whole tribe, their tents, their animals, their equipment, whatever they needed from that area and transported them in their ships, uh, spaceships, and took them to the land which is called Lemuria at that time, on the northeast coast of Lemuria. They put that tribe, the tribe was surprised when they were there, that it's like the people are same, they have their tents, they have their animals, they had their plants also, they already planted that before and, and uh, but land looks different to them. but. They didn't have any choice. I might mention that all of this is in the book, and I want to mention the book, and the book is yes. available all across the country and in information at our website. You can lock on to uh, Dr. Modi's website, An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind, uh, Volume 1. And with us on the program, Dr. Shankutala Modi, that's M-O-D-I, and again, information is available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Information available at, uh, at Amazon, and you can find information on the book. It's fascinating, and you have a timeline in the back of the book, and what you actually can trace things back, like three and a half million years? Yes, that's the first time when the human couples were put on the planet, and their soul was infused in the already prepared body. What kind but, of reaction do you get? The scientific history of mankind is longer maybe than some people realize or, or were taught. What kind of reaction are you getting from people as, as you're telling this story? Uh, the book is just published, so not many people know it. So now I'm talking about it, and really they're just amazed. It's well, like so many things we don't know. And everything I write about, one thing, that it comes from the patients as a, when I'm trying to heal them, you know. So their stories come up. When one, two, three patients describe the similar things, I also check with the heavenly beings who are also there to help. Uh, either patients, higher self, masters, angels, whosoever is there. I ask them what is the truth. Then... They tell me whether it's true or not. Most of the time it is true. And I ask them more questions to expand on it. And this is how I got all this in story. So I don't write about anything which is not confirmed by many patients and many heavenly beings through the patients. That's what makes this so remarkable. The name of the book is An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind, Volume 1. Uh, one of the the things you address in the book is talking about spiritual merging and passing on our learned knowledge to new incoming souls. Talk a little bit about that concept of spiritual merging. Yeah, that was the original plan for the development of God, because as we develop, God develops. So original plan was that a spirit, two spiritual or couple, their spirit will come out of the body, which is called like out-of-body experience. And as whatever they have learned, they will put their knowledge together and give it to the incoming soul. So when the soul is born in the physical body later on, it already has all that knowledge which the patient, uh, parents had. And then they built up on that. And this way, instead of living, you know, taking so long to evolve, millions of years, we would have been completely evolved and gone back to God in 30, 40 generations. But that plan failed. And as a result, then we, we ended up having babies who didn't have the 
knowledge of the parents and built-in knowledge. Right. And as a result, we had to just go through the painful, slow uh, evolvement process, you know. The book is an amazing journey, remembering from the subconscious mind. A few minutes left in the program, and Dr. Modi, before we we wrap up, what are some of the lessons that we all can learn? The lessons that you learned, the lessons you want to share with us that, that we should be uh, uh, apprised of from, from, your, from your work and, and what you talk about so eloquently in the book An Amazing Journey? The one thing is we didn't get a chance to talk about is Atlantis. There was Lemuria, which was purely spiritual. Why? And there was no technology. They didn't care for anything because all they were completely with God. While Atlantis on the other side in Atlantic Ocean was very spiritually evolved, and not spiritually, technologically evolved. They had aliens giving them different technology. And in, at the, in between about 70,000 to 50,000, their technology was higher than what we have now. Only thing is, they were very technologically knowledgeable, but spirituality was nil. They had like a taboo, like they, they will not discuss about spirituality with another person. So there was no spirituality, it didn't develop. And as a result, they ended up destroying their path. It became so evil at the end. Last 30,000 of years, uh, in Atlantis, it was everybody was controlled except the few handful rulers. Controlled totally like animals, total control on their mind, body, and soul. And as a result, they were totally destroyed, and the whole planet was destroyed later on. So the lesson is having technology without spirituality, we will not make it. And now, the technology is so widespread all over the planet. If we are not careful and we are not connected with God and we don't work under guidance of the light, we will end, end up destroying, and this time, not just one continent or planet, a, a country. We will end up destroying the whole planet and maybe the whole solar system and galaxy. So this is one of the big lessons for all of us now at this time. Another one, uh, the alien race who gave, who did the tech, uh, genetic modification on us, they are kind, They are still watching us. They're good races. And uh, they, um, they are kind of shocked to see how we are doing the genetic modification on the food and even on, you know, some of the animals and other things. And they are saying not to do it because... What these other aliens did, they observed for thousands of years before they made uh, let those uh, beings come into the general population, you know. Interesting. And now we are just doing it without really understanding what will be the outcome in future. So that's what the thing is. When we are doing genetic modification, we have to observe for a long time and we have to pray and ask for guidance because guidance is already there if we ask. And then third one is that because of the, all the different genetic modifications which were done on us humans, what they're saying is that we have become such a unique race in the whole galaxy. Very few races are like us, which, you know, I'm always surprised because we think we are just average, you know. Yes. ordinary people, <laughs> they are saying we have such a great potential that if we get into the spirituality, every soul, our aura will, aura energy field around us will improve and everybody else who is, comes in that will spiritually improve and evolve. Then as the whole group or the tribe does that, it will spread over the other countries. And then the whole planet's aura will improve, and that will include the other planets also, which will become spiritual without doing much. And then this way the spirituality will spread from planet to planet to planet. And we, will, we have the potential to evolve everybody in the galaxy and even the universe and take it back to 
It is a fascinating book. It's an, called An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind. With us on the program, once again, Dr. Shukuntala Modi. That's M-O-D-I. The book is available um, all across the country. We will have but, uh, on YouTube uh, a link for the doctor's website. That information also will be available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Doctor, it is always a pleasure to have you in the program. Thank you so much for, for sharing this information with us. Once again, the book is called An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind. Fascinating work. Thank you for joining us on the program. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Rick. It is Thank my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Once again, the book is called An Amazing Human Journey, Remembering from the Subconscious Mind. And all the information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Thank you for listening to today's program.